So you want to make an RPG maker horror game, eh? Easy! Step one, figure out the length of the game. Two hours. One hour. Thirty minutes. More than two hours. For this video, we're doing two minutes, baby. Step two. I have a massively long 2.5 hour video on how to use the RPG Maker MV engine. And not just that. It teaches you exactly how to use the RPG Maker engine to make horror games. What's that? 2.5 hours is too long? You're a college student who decided to take thousands and thousands of hours trying to cram it all down to four months? Or possibly a high schooler having to take classes in general for it? Possibly seven hours, if not eight for a day. 2.5 hours in one sitting is too long, or 2.5 hours in one week is too long, with each day of that week being roughly half an hour long, or 2.5 hours a month being 30 minutes a week for four to five minutes. This is too long. What you have been watching this video for, eh? Step three, get good in English writing. Yep, that's right, English writing. Believe it or not, most people who upload on these indie pages or even YouTubers who play these indie games are English speakers. So, it's unfair, but you're gonna have to get good in writing English or hire someone. What's that? Where do I start? Well, don't worry, I have a recommendation. Jet four. Make a map. <sighs> Bam! That 4.1, make it spoopy. Oh, we added a hole in the floor. We got a few cracks and dirt going all over the place. Oh, loose paper all over that floor there too. And a disgusting looking bed. Not spoopy enough. That 4.1. Oh, filters. Oh, but I'm using the lantern plugin, and the lantern plugin has light colors itself. No, not spooky enough. It's all about the filters, baby. Red means scary. Blue means creepy. And what does red and blue make? Hmm. Violet. Bam. Scary. Creepy. Unicorn. Mystical. Sh Step five, keys. Want to get into a room? Keys. See that over there? Chess code puzzle, baby. Oh no. Oh no, what is this that I'm setting up? Oh no. Wait, there's not even a crate? How does this not even have a crate? Oh no. Is that a push puzzle right in front of it? Oh no! What will the player possibly do now? <laughs> I actually wanted to add, I almost added another rock, but then I kind of realized if I add one more rock, the player can actually screw themselves over and it will never open the door. <laughs> hey, that chest. What's that over there? More keys! Oh, it, it, I can only go up to four digits. Step six. Notes. 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 Didn't you guys know every victim and murderer in horror games in real life always write notes? They always keep a diary entry every single time. So notes. Step seven. Test your game. Oh, you found a bug. Fix it. Oh, what's that? The game is meant to play so you can do this first before you do that or go into this room before you go into that room. But there's a possibility that the player can't go into that room before this room. But there's probably no bugs because no one would ever think of doing that. I'm looking at you. Step 8. Game Jout. Etchio. RPGmaker.net. Use it. Step nine. Advertise. Step ten. Eat that croissant. Sip on that peanut culata. Cause in one month's time, you famous. B -b -b bonus step. Return back to this video and click on that timestamp as you see it right there. Yep, right on the screen. 
and <clears throat> you're welcome. Honorable mentions, jump scares, jump scares, jump scares, loud noises, jump scares. Lol, JK.